You ready to let the dogs out? What? Do what? From the All Indiana Podcast Network. Join Pet Pals TV's Patty Spittler as we celebrate our furry friends. Cats, dogs, and all the critters in your family. Celebrate the bond between pets and people and meet Hoosier heroes saving four-legged lives. I love it. Good. I'm glad. It's the Positively Patty Podcast. I can't wait anymore. Me neither. Now, your host, here's Wish TV contributor, Patty Spittler. Coming up today on the Positive Week Patty Podcast, we're going to talk with Pamela Chahoon. She is the owner and the founder of the Grateful Rescue and Sanctuary in Muncie, Indiana. And guess what, gang? She just took in 26 dachshunds. <laughs> yep, you heard that right. 26 to her already crowded collection. We'll find out more about how and why this happened and maybe how you can help coming up on the Positive Week Patty Podcast with puppies. <laughs> Have you ever covered a carpet stain with a rug? Ignored a leaky faucet? Pretended your half-painted living room is supposed to look like that? Well, you're not alone. We've all got unfinished home projects. But there is an easier way. Thumbtack is the app that makes it easier to care for your home. Pull out your phone and in just a few taps, search, chat, and book highly rated pros right in your neighborhood. Download Thumbtack and start caring for your home the easier way. This podcast is brought to you by eHarmony, the dating app to find someone you can be yourself with. Why doesn't eHarmony allow copy and paste in first messages? Because you are unique and your conversations should reflect that. eHarmony wants you to find someone who will get you. How are you going to know who gets you if people send you the same generic conversation starters they message everyone else? Conversations that actually help you get to know each other. Imagine that. Get who gets you on eHarmony. Sign up today. And now on the Positively Patty podcast, Pamela. All those P's in there. How about that? Hi, Patty. This is Pamela Tahoon. She is the founder and the owner of the Grateful Rescue and Sanctuary located in Muncie, but serving everybody all over the place. <laughs> so, Pamela, you've already adopted out over 500 dogs and cats, which is amazing. Thank you. Amazing. Yes. 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 Cuz you are not, you know, a big shelter or big I mean you're doing it you and your husband are doing it kind of alone. Right now we're doing it out of our home, 22 acre facility. It is it is a 10,000 square foot place that we have, right. but um, it's pretty much a homestead yeah. uh, rescue until we get our expansion built. Well, and the good news is, too, that when you take these dogs in, and by the way, she told she she might have 50 dogs in her house right now, <laughs> um, but you, the dogs get to be in a, in a home setting, so you know what they're like, yes. and, and that's good when the adopter comes. You can say, well, this one likes to bark at the chickens, and this one likes to, yes. you know, but whatever. We spend time getting to know the dogs, and, and we do treat them as pets until they're adopted. And uh, they're not in a cage. They're not in cages. No, we're, we're uh, focused on no stress, much love. What? That's terrific. Okay. Now you recently, and I saw it on Facebook, I'm like, oh my God, I've got to contact Pamela. You rescued 26. 26. Dachshunds. Uh, yep. How did this yep. happen? Well, we got a call that, um, that a dachshund rescue down in, um, Evansville called BB Dachshund Sanctuary. Um, the owner's health was declining and, and she knew that she was facing closing out her shelter, her rescue, excuse right, me. Right. And, um, and she contacted a friend who contacted me, said that, Grateful was the only one she trusted with these babies. Oh, my. Oh, my. And, um, and so a few of them she had kissed and, and sent away. They were on en route to Grateful um, to help her um, get the population down. And um, just in that trance, in that trance, uh, the transfer of those dogs, she got the call that the owner had passed and the rescue needed to be uh, cleared out immediately, and um, she had about, well, we took 26 dogs. 26. She had about 30. 26. Whew. 26. Um, we weren't sure we were equipped for that, um, We, but we do have, like I said, a large space, and we have a five-car heated air-conditioned garage um, okay. that's... Okay. that's um, 
that's got drains and wouldn't clean up after them. Okay, and the, the dogs I've seen, I've met a couple of them, yeah. but when you see them all together, they're happy being all together again. They were, yeah, they were very, very stressed when we transported them um, up here, but um, they soon saw that they're all together again, and when we unleashed the hounds and the big open <laughs> space, it oh. was it was like a pup party. They're, <laughs> they were all together again, oh. so that's helping them get through mourning the loss of their mama. This was their mama. I know if, if something happened to me, my baby's back at the oh, at yeah. the rescue would just be beside themselves. So we're keeping them together until they until they get adopted. We're not handing them out to fosters, anything like that. We're keeping them together just like um, Miss Davies. Her name was Ann Davies, um, like she would have wanted to. Okay. And you do not just hand out the dogs, as you said. You make sure, first off, they're vetted. They're all taken care of. Uh, they're in good shape. And number two is you make sure that the people who want to adopt them, you go through their records and you meet these people and make sure it's a good fit. We do. We do. We have a long checklist of requirements. Um, first of all, for this breed, we definitely need a, a good secure fence because oh, yeah. they can be diggers. Um, they and have a heavy prey drive, I understand. Yeah. They want, that's what they used to do is yeah. to, for hunters. They'd go out and, and you know, the, so they're focused. They see a squirrel, they're going to go. Right, so, okay. right. So we have to assure their safety. And then any potential adopter, we call their vet and make sure that their um, existing pets are, are up to date and even maybe getting optional services like dentals and things like that. We also run a background check, um, and we um, and we we don't go through the home, but we we take a good look at it okay. um, thanks to Google Maps, right. where you can look. Um, we do, and and we just want to make sure that they're in a in a perfect setting. Wow, you're busy, busy gal. We are busy, oh. but you know what? It's a labor of love. We love them. Yeah, and I thought, I think I've been with you about four years, but the shelter's been around for seven. You don't the rescue's been around for seven years. Yep now? we we um, we started our nonprofit in 2017. Now we bought the um, additional property in um, right before COVID in 2019. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, we're we're on our seventh year now. Whew. And it's been it's been wonderful. It's been a long, strange trip, but um, wow. but uh, where's the word? It's a lot of work. I mean, I love animals. I love dogs and cats, <laughs> but I don't know that I could take in twenty six dogs and I'd like ah. Well, seven years. How many is that in dog years? We'll have to figure that out. Uh, <laughs> I'm no good at math. Hey, uh, thank you. Now again, you're not taking any uh, more applications. You got over two hundred applications oh, for gosh, these dogs, yes. but you could use some things. Like. We can. We um, the one thing that's incredible about this group in this wide open space is they are all potty pad trained. Oh. So cleanup is a breeze. We go out. We change the potty pads out. They're very good. Um, okay. So, but but that being said, we need potty pads, and of course, we use the Clorox spray cleanup under under the pads when okay. they leak and stuff. So, so we could use some we could use some cleaning supplies, paper towels, Clorox um, spray, and. Potty pads. And if someone has a few bucks, you wouldn't mind that either. Oh, no. We, <laughs> in fact, you know, this is coming in right on top of that big puppy mill pack, and none of them were vetted, so they are all requiring a lot of vetting. Oh, so. my heavens. So, well, someone wants to know more, get in touch with you. What? Where do they go? Gratefulrescue.org. You will find everything there. G-R-A-T-E-F-U-L, rescue, all together, R-E-S-C-U-E, dot org. You're a not-for-profit, but you could use a little help. That's right. Pamela, you're terrific. I, I truly admire what you do. Thank you. I, I mean, it's whew, it's pretty amazing. We okay, you. my dear, thank you so much. <laughs> I know you've got doggies us. to take care of, so we'll I let do. you go. Well, until uh, next time. Until next time. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank and you. And thank you for joining the Positively Patty podcast Bye. with puppies. Discover more pet-friendly stories at PetPalsTV.com and stay with Wish TV online at WishTV.com and when you follow Wish TV on Facebook. Be sure to like and subscribe to this podcast and discover more great podcasts from the All Indiana Podcast Network now at AllIndianaPodcastNetwork.com.